everyone. My name is Chelsea, and today we're going to be doing a prenatal yoga class. So a full class. It will be about 60 minutes, between 60 minutes and 75 minutes. So typically you'll want your prenatal classes that you offer um, to be between this time. And obviously if you're taking your own prenatal class, you can adjust the time as needed. So just like with any prenatal class, we're going to have a few props. The props are meant to support you so that you can feel empowered during your practice to have a sustainable and safe practice. So the props that we're going to have today are two blocks. I prefer the cork blocks. I think that they are very stable. So two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, um, some great alternatives are paper towel rolls because the height is really nice. Um, or you can have some really thick books, but I prefer the paper towel rolls because I think the height is the best. We're also going to use a bolster. Now, if you don't have a yoga bolster at home, you can use a really thick pillow, maybe a couch cushion, or you can also use two pillows and kind of like put them on top of one another to create this really firm space for yourself. And we'll be using a blanket. So I'm sitting up on a yoga blanket, just simply folded, folded in half, and then I'm folding it again. Fringe is on one side and then I fold it and so I get this nice uh, kind of lift from the blanket. So you're welcome to sit throughout the practice on either the blanket or the bolster. It doesn't matter which one, just choose one as we go throughout the practice and I'll make sure to cue that as well so that we have neutral alignment in our pelvis which enables us to breathe better especially during pregnancy. So the way that we start a prenatal yoga class, one way that you can start it, if you have all the props, is creating this L shape with your blocks. So there's one on the highest height, and then the other is on the lowest height. We're just going to put them together like an L shape at the top of your mat. So you have this L shape at the top of your mat, highest height, lowest height, they're touching. From there, I'm going to take my bolster or my couch cushion or pillows and just lay it across. So we're going to lay it across like a ramp. So you're building a ramp for your upper body and you want it to be stable so it's not pressing or pushing or falling over so that you feel really comfortable in this opening position. So you're setting up your students for this nice restorative pose, okay? So at home, you can set this up. If you don't have blocks, an alternative to this would be side lying, which I'll show you, on your left side. Always, always, always side lie on the left side. You can create a little pillow for the head if you like. Come onto your left side, bring your bolster, or your pillow between the legs. Just make sure it's supporting the knees and the ankles. Come all the way down. Yeah. So you can begin like this, or you can begin our yoga class with a ramp setup. So that choice I'll leave to you. You can go ahead and get comfortable, whichever one you choose. If you're choosing the ramp, bring your sacrum to the bottom of the ramp. And you can begin to press the feet together. And if you have your blanket, we're going to make a tube, kind of like a tube. So bring your blanket out on this wide setting like this. We're going to roll it up. So just make a nice roll, kind of like a a swimming noodle or an inner tube, yeah? 
So you've got that roll here. Place it around the ankles and then pull it through underneath your calves. Yeah, so around the ankles, pull it through underneath the calves, giving you a little extra support here. And from here, you can begin to walk the hands back. It's the sacrum, mid back, and upper back come all the way to the bolster. Palms can face up towards the sky, on the mat or the ground underneath you. And just take a few moments here with the eyes open, noticing the space that you're in. Grounding yourself here in this present moment. And when you feel ready, you can close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. From here, just beginning to notice the sound of your own breath. Perhaps even noticing the cool air coming through your nostrils on your inhales and the warm air coming out on your exhales. I'm not trying to change anything just yet. Just taking note of the breath. Just taking a moment to arrive in this space. And from here, take a full breath in. Sighing it out the mouth, let it go. Begin to scan over the body from the crown of the head all the way to the toes. Noticing any areas of tension or tightness, or perhaps areas that feel soft and open. And once again, just taking note of these areas, seeing where you are today in this very moment. Breathing into those spaces, inviting life force into those spaces. you're ready. Take another full breath in through the nose. Sigh it out the mouth. Ha! Letting it go. And just scan over the mind, noticing the quality of the thoughts, just seeing where your mind is today. Not trying to push any thoughts away. Once again, just being here, sitting with what's going on in the inside, in the internal landscape. Just taking note. Take a full breath in through your nose. Sigh about the mouth, let it go. Softening that space between the eyebrows, all the way through the cheekbones and the muscles in the jaw. Allowing the tongue to get heavy here in the mouth. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Seal the lips, breath out the nose. Shoulders and neck release away from the ears. Heart opens, radiates, belly softens. Take another breath in through the nose. And let it go out the nose. Allowing hips to get heavy. Allowing the muscles in the right thigh and the left thigh to release and soften here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the nose. Soften down through the calves and the ankles. Allow them to just open and be. Take another full breath in. Full breath out the nose. Softening the heels, 
of the feet all the way to the toes from the shoulders of the arms all the way down to the fingertips. Releasing any areas of tension or tightness here in the fingers and the toes. Take another deep breath in. Deepest breath out. And you're welcome to keep your hands where they are. Or if you'd like to bring the hands to the belly, bring the hands to the belly now. And tuck the chin in slightly to lengthen the back of the neck. Let the air go out the nose wherever you are. We'll fill the belly with air that expands up and out. And exhaling as it comes down and back. Filling the belly with air, allowing it to go outward. Emptying it out, softening it back in. Just one more breath like this, breathing into the belly, breathing into the pelvis, into the pelvic bowl. Exhaling, allowing it to go. You're welcome to keep the hands here or bring them back down onto the ground for a more grounding practice as we go through a four parts breath. Take a deep breath in and slide out the mouth, let it go. We'll inhale through the nose, throat, chest, belly. Exhale, belly, chest, throat, nose. Inhale, nose, throat, chest, belly. Exhale, belly, chest, throat, nose. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Breathing in, nose, throat, chest, belly. Exhale, belly, chest, throat, nose. You can return the breath to your normal, natural rhythm here. And hearing the sound of your own breath. When you're ready, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, bringing the hands to the backs of the thighs, closing the legs like a book. If you're on your side, can begin to press through your hands, supporting yourself as you come all the way up. If you're still on your back, please turn to one side, hands onto the ground, pressing yourself up to a seated position. So keeping the eyes soft here, a soft gaze, you can just remove the blanket. We're going to unroll that tube that we made and just fold your blanket in half once again. So folding it here and then fold it again. Yeah. You can remove the bolster or the pillows from your ramp. And set your blocks up at the top of your mat. And from here, we're going to sit our sitting bones right onto the bolster or blanket make sure it's on the edge. You can even feel for your sitting bones. If you lift up one leg, you can feel those knobby bones just right underneath the glute muscle. So making sure that we're sitting nice and tall, long spine from sacrum all the way to crown of head. Hands can be on tops of thighs or knees. And as we inhale, we're just going to tilt the tailbone forward, arch our spine, lift our heart and gaze as we look up. And then exhale, rounding through the back. Chin comes towards chest as tailbone curls under. Inhale, pulling yourself forward. Tailbone reaches back, heart reaches forward. Exhale, rounding inward. So we're going back and forth through the pelvis and the heart space. Inhaling as we come forward. 
exhaling, curling inward. Let's just do one more like this. Inhale to come forward. Lifting heart gaze, tailbone is back. Exhaling, rounding forward and down. From here, you can come back up to a neutral spine so we can find that. Right, we were moving forward, our, our hip bones were coming forward, our tailbone was jutting out, and then we were curling in, we were really rounding through the tailbone, sitting on our tailbone. So find your sitting bones and hips, hip points will be right underneath our shoulders. Beautiful. You can bring your arms in a cactus shape, so bend at the elbows. We'll take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bringing your right arm underneath the left here for these eagle arms. So wrapping our arms, the palms can touch here or the backs of the hands can touch, whichever feels best for you. Lift the elbows and fingertips up towards the sky, but away from your ears. Yeah. From here, we're going to do the same motions with our pelvis as before. As we inhale, we'll tilt the tailbone back arch our spine, lift our heart and our elbows and our gaze. And exhale, rounding through the tailbone and the back. Elbows come in towards the chest. Breathing and scooping up with the arms. Breathing out, rounding down and inward. Three more, inhaling, tailbone reaches back, heart lifts up. Exhale, rounding inward for three. Breathing in as you rise up. Breathing out as you come down for two. Last one here, deep breath in to scoop up, look up. Breathing out as you round down. Coming back up to a nice straight spine from sacrum to crown of head. Unravel the arms and hands to your shoulders. We're going to make circles with our elbows forward and then circles with the elbows going backwards. Just loosening up any sticky points that might have developed through our eagle arms. And from here, bringing the arms back to this cactus bent elbow pose. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, left arm underneath right this time. Grabbing either for palms or backs of palms. Lift the elbows up in line with the shoulders, but away from your ears. Palms are reaching up towards the sky. From here, inhale, tilt the tailbone forward. Arch your spine, lift your heart, lift your gaze, look up. Exhale, rounding through the back, chin towards chest. Breathing in as you scoop up, rise up. Breathing out as you round down and in. Just three more. Inhaling up. Exhaling as you come down. For three. Full breath in. Full breath out for two. And last one here. Arch your spine, tailbone reaches back, heart lifts up, breathe in. Breathing out, rounding through the back, tailbone curls under, elbows towards chest. Unravel the arms, straighten up through the spine, neutral pelvis, hands onto shoulders, circling forward and circling backward. So nice. And from here, we're just going to take the right fingertips and just place them on the ground for a moment. Really ground down through your left hip bone, your left hip bone and your left sit bone. So we're really feeling grounded on the left side. Yeah, reach up through the left arm here. So plug the left sitting bone down as the left fingertips reach up. Begin to walk the right fingertips over to the side. Yeah. And we'll begin to reach through the left side body. So take a full breath in as you reach, full breath out as you ground down even further into the left sitting bone. 
Inhaling as you open through the heart space, maybe the gaze looks up. Exhale, soften that right shoulder away from your ear. Can you soften the fingertips? Perhaps the palm reaches on the ground. One more deep breath in, deepest breath out. Slowly coming back through center, we'll walk the left fingertips. Just plant them for now onto the mat beside your hip. Reach up through the right arm. Really plug into the right sitting bone. So just imagine in your mind's eye that sitting bone really glued down to the block or the bolster or the blanket underneath you. Take a full breath in to reach. And a full breath out as you begin to walk the left fingertips off to the side for a nice side bend here. Inhale, reaching through right fingertips. Exhale, grounding through right sitting bone and right hip, right knee. You can flatten the palm of the left hand if need be. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, turning the heart, opening the gaze up towards the sky. One more deepest breath in. Exhale here. You can walk yourself back up, slowly transitioning back up to a seated position. And we'll transition onto all fours. So if you're on your mat lengthwise, then you can just crawl over onto hands and knees. And I'll show you here. You can move the bolster off to the side. You might want a blanket underneath your knees or the pillow or a bolster if that works too. We'd rather have more support. So I'm going to use a blanket here. Come on to all fours. Remember to bring your blocks to the top of the mat. We'll be using them shortly. Just set up your tabletop. So shoulders over elbows over wrists, hips over knees, stacking the joints, flat back to begin. So we really want to make sure we're not arching the spine or over tucking to begin. We want this nice neutral spine from sacrum all the way to crown of head, tucking the chin in slightly here, lengthening the back of the neck, really pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. As we inhale, we'll tilt the tailbone back, arch your spine, lift your heart, lift your gaze, and exhale, round through the back tailbone and chin come in towards yourself. Breathing in as tailbone reaches back, head reaches up and back. Breathing out, rounding down and in. Let's just do three more like this. Breathing in, lifting the heart, lifting the gaze and the tailbone. Breathing out, rounding through. Filling up with air as the tailbone reaches back, arch the spine, lift your heart, look up. And emptying out, rounding forward and in. And last one here, full breath in to reach up through the shoulders. And exhale, rounding down and in. So nice. Come back to that really straight neutral spine here, even hips. And we're going to take one of our blocks. Yeah, so you can stay where you are. I'm just going to come up on my knees so I can show you. Take your block on this thinnest side, yeah? So it's on the thin side. We're gonna place it, the thin side, between our legs. So you don't want it between really the knees because that's going to probably irritate your knees. And you don't want it all the way up into your pubic bone, right? So you want some space there. So we're really gonna squeeze the inner thighs here. So I'll show you first and then we'll do it together. So I'm coming back to this tabletop pose. I'm stacking the joints, yeah? So everything's on top of one another. I'm spreading the fingers really wide. As I inhale, my shoulders are just going to lean past my fingertips. And as I exhale, I'm bending at the elbows halfway. Elbows are in towards my side. Inhaling, pushing up, lifting up. Exhale, hips towards heels as far as you can go or belly as comfortable. Let's do it all together. Come back to your neutral tabletop. As we inhale, shoulders come past fingertips, lean forward. Exhaling, halfway down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, hips towards heels. Good, let's do four more. Inhale, forward of fingertips. Exhale, lowering down, pin those elbows in. Inhale, lift. 
exhaling hips towards heels mm, for four three more inhale forward exhale lowering inhale rise exhale hips towards heels for three squeeze the block inhale as you come forward exhale lower inhale to rise and exhale hips towards heels good last one here inhale forward exhale bending at the elbows lowering down only halfway inhale to rise and exhale hips towards heels coming all the way up to tabletop you can remove the block from in between the legs bring it back up towards the top of your mat beautiful and from here begin to reach the right toes back behind you so the right toes are planted on your mat yeah your right leg is long really stacking your joints still here and just pulse forward and pulse back allowing the calf muscle the ankle to get a little more circulation here tuck the chin in slightly elongate through the back of the neck yeah and then come through stillness when you're ready stacking shoulders over wrists you're welcome to keep the foot down, really square those hips flat back. So my tendency is for the right hip to come up. So bring your right hip down in line with your left if it's hiking up. Yeah, you're welcome to stay with feet planted on the ground as we go through this next pose. So reach the left fingertips forward. You can just pulse with the arm this feels more stable. If you'd like to try, then you can reach the right toes off the mat in line with your hips. So we're reaching from fingertip all the way to the heels of our right foot, the heel of our right foot. Inhale to lengthen out long. Exhale, knee and elbow come in, but do not touch. Inhale, expanding forward and back. Exhaling, rounding inward. We're just going to do one more. Breathing in, coming forward. And breathing out as you round down and in. Release the left hand. Release those right toes back behind you once again. And this time we're going to press the sole of the right foot down onto the mat. Make sure that it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. Kickstand the left foot off of the mat. Yeah. Bring the left hand down in front of your nose on the mat. So it's underneath your left shoulder. Right hand comes to right hip. Really press through those feet. Inhale, hips forward. Exhale, heart reaches back. And from here, when you feel ready, the right arm can rise up towards the sky. Gaze is either at the thumb tip or down at your left fingers. Breathing in here, pressing your hips forward. Breathing out as your left shoulder softens away from the ear. Inhale, ground down through your feet, really pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Exhaling, opening up the hips. And just one more breath like this. A modified side plank and a breath out. Reach the right arm over the ear as you inhale and exhale to sweep it down towards the ground. Squaring the hips, coming back through all fours. You're welcome to take a little cat-cow here, just to reset. And come through stillness and just take one moment to notice how the right side of the body feels compared to the left. Once again, just taking note, not passing any judgment. All right, so find your flat back here, yeah. We'll reach the left toes way back behind us. So one long left leg here, squaring the hips. We'll just pulse forward and back, keeping a nice micro bend in your elbows, protecting you from hyperextending. Remembering to keep the chin tucked in slightly to lengthen the back of the neck so we're not crunching, adding any pressure there. And just slowly allowing the calf muscle to open, release. You can go as slow as you need, going at your own pace. 
And from here, come through stillness. Stack the shoulders over your wrists. Yeah. You can keep the foot down once again. Just pulse inward with the arms, especially if you're experiencing any sciatica on one side. I think that pulsing with one arm will help to with this. Or you can begin to lift the toes up off the mat in line with the hip. Reach the right arm forward if you haven't already. Lengthen from fingertip to the heel of the left foot. And exhale, round through the back. Elbow and knee come in, but do not touch. Inhale to lengthen. Exhaling to round. Yeah, we'll just do one more like this. Breathing and expanding forward and back. And breathing out, rounding forward and in. Letting down, letting go of the right hand and the left toes. Remember, lengthening that leg back behind you. Turn the sole of your left foot down so it's planted on the mat and it's parallel with the back edge of your mat. Bring the right hand down in front of your face so it's underneath your right shoulder. If you have the space, unlike my room, kickstand your right foot off the mat for more stability. Bring the left hand towards the left hip. Press your hips forward as your heart reaches open and back. Yeah. Slight micro bend in that right elbow. When you feel ready, left arm can reach up in line with your heart and your right arm. Take a full breath in, reaching hips forward, full breath out, reaching heart back. Filling up with air, really ground down through both of your feet and exhale. Gaze is up towards left thumb tip or down towards the right hand. Take one more breath in and a breath out. Reaching the left arm over the left ear, reach, reach, reach. Take a full breath in and exhale, swim it down. Coming back through all fours. From here, bring your knees back about two inches. Remember, we were really stacking the hips over the knees. So bring your knees back two inches, spread your fingers really wide, tuck your toes, lifting your hips up and back. Come to downward facing dog. You can pedal through one leg and then the other. Just allowing the sensations to come and go. Tucking the chin in slightly, allowing the neck to lengthen. Taking a breath in. Side out the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Bend your knees a lot to allow the pelvic floor to open and release and soften. Take one more breath in and downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, really press into the knuckles. And a breath out as you release the knees back down to the mat. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your blocks. Remember they're at the top of your mat and step your right foot forward. Bring the right knee directly over your right ankle. You need to toe heel the right foot out towards the side so that you have more space for belly. Please do so. And just be here for a moment, noticing this right side. Take a full breath in, lengthen the spine. Full breath out, thumb down through the feet. Engage your inner thighs towards one another. You're welcome to keep your hands like this, or you can inhale as the arms sweep forward and up. Exhale, releasing shoulders down the back, getting heavy in the hips. Breathing in here, grounding down through the feet, pressing through the ball of the front foot, breathing out, engaging inner thighs. Inhale, right hip comes back as left hip moves forward. Exhale, can you be a little deeper into that right knee? Just one more breath, maybe opening through the heart space. And a breath out, sweep the hands down to your blocks. Begin to walk the blocks back towards your hips. Straighten through that right leg to your capacity. So if you need a little bend in the knee, that's fine too. Toes will flex up towards your face. Fingertips are on top of your blocks. As you inhale to lengthen from sacrum to crown of head. Exhale, leading with the heart as you fold. Breathing in, lift 
lifting up through the spine. Breathing out as you fold, lead with the heart. Just one more like that. Full breath in as you rise up through the heart, through the crown of the head. Full breath out as you come all the way down to your capacity. Breathing in to lengthen through the spine. And then breathe out to rebend through your knee and walk your blocks back up towards the top of the mat. And we'll switch sides. So bring the right knee back, left foot forward. Yeah, and you can make this stance as wide as you need to. Hands on the box to start, just sitting into the hip for a moment, noticing what this side feels like. Perhaps it's different than the other side, and perhaps it's not feeling different from the other side. Not passing any judgment, just taking note. From here, we'll inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. And exhaling through the shoulders, allow them to drop down the back. Full breath in as left hip comes back, right hip moves forward. Full breath out to stay. One more deep breath in, opening through the heart space. And a deep breath out, swim the hands down to the blocks. And from here, walking the blocks back towards your hips, begin to straighten your left leg to your capacity. It's coming onto the heel of your foot, toes reach back towards the knee, towards the face, fingertips on blocks, inhale, reach from sacrum to crown of head, exhale, folding forward at the heart. Breathe in as you lift up, look up. Breathing out as you come down. Just last one here, inhale, reaching up through the long spine. Breathing out as you come all the way down. Inhale as you lift up through a long spine and exhale to re-bend the knee and slowly walk those blocks back towards the top of the mat. From here, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee. Begin to step forward. Bring the feet really wide, wider than belly. Bend through the knees. Inhale, hands to the thighs as you rise up all the way. Arms will sweep up. And exhale, hands at heart center. So nice. We'll go through some standing poses. If you're experiencing any pain in the hips today, maybe on one side versus the other, some sciatica or some pubic symphysis pain, then I'm going to cue you to have a shorter stance. Yeah, shorter stance today and bend the knees. Or in some poses, you might need to straighten the knee depending on what where you're feeling the pain. So you can modify as you see fit. So bring the feet wider than belly. And as we inhale, the arms will sweep up as we exhale, we'll hinge at the hips, hands to thighs, hands to blocks. Keep the right foot forward, left foot reaches back behind you. Stay on the toes, on the ball of your foot, yeah? Hands, fingertips, lightly graze the blocks. As you inhale, reach the heart forward, reach the crown of the head and the gaze forward. Exhale, straightening through both legs as you fold. Breathing in, bending through the knee as you lift the heart. Exhale, engage inner thighs, folding forward to your capacity. Just last one here, inhale to re-bend, look forward with the heart. And exhale, engage your glutes, lift your back hamstring as you fold. You can go ahead and re-bend the knee here. And just bring one hand and then the other on top of your thigh to come all the way up to high lunge. Now, if you need to shorten the stance here, if you're feeling any pain in the hips, go ahead and bring your hands to your hip and you can just walk the foot forward a bit. Yeah. One hand to pubic bone, one hand to your sacrum. Draw the pubic bone up as the sacrum draws down here, protecting the low back. From here, keep a bend in the front knee, stack knee over the ankle. Hands can stay here or you can reach the arms up by the ears. Take a full breath in as you engage the inner thighs, straighten through the legs. A full breath out, bending through the knees, arms swing down. 
Inhale, engaging glutes, straighten through the legs, rise. Exhale, rebending, coming down. Let's do three more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swim down and back for three. Full breath in, full breath out for two. Last one here, deep breath in, deep breath out for a one. So nice. You can bring your hands down to your thighs to transition down to the blocks. And then step the left foot forward. Yeah. And then step the right foot back. We'll just do it on the other side. So fingertips onto the blocks. Your foot, your left foot can be really wide if you need more space for belly. Inhale, reach heart, reach gaze forward, tuck chin in slightly. And exhaling, engaging inner thighs towards one another as you fold. Breathing in, re-bend the knee. Breathing out, glutes engaged to fold. Last one here, re-bend the knee, heart reaches forward, inhale. Exhale, lifting back hamstring as you fold. Re-bend the knees, heart looks forward. And you can bring one hand and then the other onto the top thigh to come all the way up for high lunge. And remember shortening the stance if you see fit, if it works for you in this moment. And we'll just begin to engage the inner thighs towards one another. One hand to pubic bone, one hand to the sacrum. Draw your pubic bone up as your sacrum reaches down towards the ground. Good. From here, stacking left knee over ankle, yeah? Keep engaging those inner thighs. Hands can stay here or they can rise up. Begin to inhale and straighten through the leg. And then exhale, re-bending the knees, coming down. Breathing in as you rise. Breathing out, re-bending knee, come down. Full breath in as you come up. Full breath out. And just two more. Inhale, rise. Exhale to come down for two. Last one here, deep breath in. Deepest breath out for a one. So nice. Bring the hands to the tops of the thighs and then one hand to the block and the other block. Step forward and bend through the knees. Inhale, hands to thighs, rise up all the way. Arms sweep up, hands at heart center. Good. We'll go through a few more standing poses and some squats before we start winding down. If you'd like to go ahead and take a sip of water, you can do so before we get through our standing poses. So once you've done, you've, you've finished your sip of water, come back to the top of your mat. And if at any point during our practice you need to use the bathroom, please feel free to do so. Feet are as wide as belly or wider. We'll inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, bending at the knees, hands to thighs as you fold hands to blocks. Keep the right foot forward. Step your left foot way back. Turn the sole of the left foot down onto the mat so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. Yeah, keep a bend in the front knee, stack it over your right ankle. As you inhale, arms will sweep up, arms to a T. Take a full breath in, really ground down through your feet here. Press, press, press through the feet. Full breath out as you soften through the shoulders, soften through the low back and hips. Inhale, press through the heels of your feet, engaging your inner thighs. Exhale here, soften the shoulders down the back. One more full breath in, arms reach forward and back, looking over the right fingertips. Exhale. On your next inhale, flip both palms, straighten through the front leg as you rise up. And exhale, re-bend the knees, swim the arms down. Full breath in, straighten, rise. Full breath out, re-bend, come down. Just one more like this, inhaling as you come up. Exhaling, re-bending to come down. So nice. From here, flip your front palm. Keep a bend in the front knee as you scoop up and back. Take a full breath in to reach, full breath out to soften into the feet. We'll take one more breath in like this and a breath out as we come forward, bringing the right arm 
forearm on top of the right thigh. Reach your left bicep over your left ear here. Take a full breath and reach through the side body. Full breath out, soften your right shoulder. We're going to move dynamically through these two poses. So we'll inhale to reach up and back. Exhaling, coming through this extended side angle. Press down through the feet. Inhale as you rise up. Exhaling, coming down. And then one more. Full breath in, coming up. Full breath out as you come down and back. So nice. Inhale as you reach up, coming to reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg. Ah. <laughs> and then reach up, arms to a T. Bring the hands to your hips. And you can shorten your stance here for triangle pose if that feels better for your hips. And then from here, really ground down through that left back, left foot. So you reach the right arm forward, forward, forward. Left hip kicks back and your right hand can come to your right shin or a block on the outside of your shin. Fingertips to the block, fingertips light on your shin if they're there. Reaching the left hip open here, ground down through your feet. Reach the left arm up when you feel ready. Take a full breath in, lengthen from the heel of your foot up to the crown of your head. Exhale, full breath in, reaching through left fingertips, full breath out, softening through your right shoulder. Gaze can be up towards your left thumb tip or down towards your right big toe. One more full breath in here in stillness, and a full breath out. Inhale, reach the left arm up over your left ear and exhale, slamming it down and back. Just opening our joints here, breathing in as it circles, breathing out as it comes down and back. Just two more like this. Inhale, exhale. Last one here, full breath in. Sweep it down, full breath out all the way to the block. Squaring the hips, come onto the ball of your back foot slowly. And then we're going to step the left foot forward. Bend your knees here as you step the right foot back, taking it on the other side. Remember, if at any point you need water or to take a resting pose, please make this practice your own, right? Placing the sole of the back foot down so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. Then begin to walk the left foot over so that the heel of the front foot is in line with the arch of the back foot, or the heel of the front foot can be in line with the heel of the back foot, giving you more space for belly. Stacking knee over ankle, we'll inhale, arms come up to a T. Exhale, softening down into the pose. Really pressing through the outer edge of the back foot, taking some of the weight off of the front foot. Inhale, exhale here. Beautiful. Chest is moving back towards the right as you breathe in. Breathing out, gaze is over left fingertips. So nice. Moving dynamically from here, flip both palms. Inhale, straighten through the front leg, reach. Exhale, re-bend the knee as you come down. Full breath in as you rise up, straighten through the legs. Maybe look up. Exhale, re-bend the knees, swim down. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, rebending, coming down. From here, flip the front palm, reverse it up and back. So your right fingertips are lightly touching your right calf, bending through the front knee. If you need to straighten a little bit, you can do that as well. Take a full breath in here, grounding down through your feet, press your hips forward, full breath out. One inhale, exhale, sweep the left arm on top of the left thigh as the right arm reaches up over your right ear. Good. Then you press down through the feet and lift up out of the left elbow. Yeah, so you're not collapsing into the pose, you're lifting up, creating space for belly. On the next inhale, lift up and back. And exhale, coming forward, forearm on top of left thigh. Inhale, reaching, scooping up and back. Exhale, coming forward for two. Last one here, deep breath in. 
Exhale, deep breath out. That's so nice. Breathing in as you reach up and back once more, this time straightening through the front leg. You can take a breath out, relaxing through the right shoulder. And inhale, arms come up to a T. Bring the hands to the hips if you need to shorten your stance. Toe, heel, the right foot in just a smidge. Yeah. And then from here, bring the weight into the back foot more so than in the front foot. You can begin to reach the left arm forward as your right hip kicks back, reaching, 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 and then finding the block on the outside of your left shin, or your, your fingertips can lightly graze your shin. I prefer the block because it takes pressure out of my left leg. Pressing the hips forward as your heart reaches back here, ground down through your feet, especially the outer edge of that back foot, taking the pressure off the left foot. When you're ready, right arm can rise up towards the sky, looking either towards the right thumb or down towards your left big toe. Take a full breath in, reaching from fingertip through the heart space to fingertip. Full breath out, soften your shoulders down the back. Inhale here. Exhale to stay. One more breath here in triangle pose, Chico Nasana. Exhale. Reach the right arm over the ear, stretch from fingertip down to the heel of the right foot. And exhale, swimming it down and back, making a big circle. Inhale as it sweeps up. Exhaling as it comes down and back. Just two more here, breathing in, breathing out. Last one here, reaching it up and circling it all the way down to the block. Square your hips, come onto the ball of your back foot, come onto the toes, and just step forward here. Bending through your knees, hands can come to tops of thighs as you rise up all the way. Oh, how are you feeling? <laughs> Take a sip of water if you need to before we move into our squat poses. So we have a series of squats that we'll go through. I'll show you chair pose first, and then we'll go through the series of squats. So take your two blocks, and when you pick up your blocks, you always want to bend your knees, yeah? Always bend your knees with a flat back to pick up your blocks. Okay, so we're going to take our blocks, and I'm just going to show you first before you do it. So I'll let you know when we'll do it together. On this height, we're going to put the block between our feet, yeah, and squeeze the block. So it's on the lowest height. And then bring that block, just like we had it before when we were doing those kind of um, half push-ups, bring it between your legs, just below the pubic bone and just above your knees. I'm going to show you from the side so you can see what it looks like. And I'll come a little bit further back. Excuse my positioning here. <laughs> I'll come a little further back so you can see my legs better. Squeezing the blocks in between the legs here. Bring our hands to our hips, one hand to pubic bone, one hand to sacrum. Draw your pubic bone up, sacrum down, protecting the low back. Yeah, you can bring your hands back to your hips. Take a full breath and lengthen. And take a full breath out as you begin to bend through the knees. Knees will come back, butt comes back, flat back. Yeah, so we want as flat of a back as we can get. Knees back, butt back flat back, heart forward. So we'll do it all together. So you can come back up if you were doing it with me. Squeezing the blocks here, find your flat neutral spine, take a breath in, lengthen. And a breath out as you begin to bend through the knees, knees back, butt back, flat back, heart forward. Yeah. And from here, you can keep your hands at your hips or you can reach them up by your ears. Take a deep breath in, reach through your fingertips if they're up. Take a deep breath out, sit back through the hips, sit back through the heels. Keep the integrity of the low back. Take a full breath in, reach through the heart space. Full breath out, grounding down through the feet. Good, one more breath in, stillness, really squeeze those blocks. Breath out, let it go. Stay in the pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, swim them down and back. Great. 
Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, swim them down and back. Good. Let's do just four more. Inhale. Exhale in here. Full breath in. Full breath out for three. Inhale. Exhaling for two. And last one. Full breath in. And full breath out for one. You can straighten through your legs. You can bend through the knees and remove the block. Yeah. Bend your knees to pick up the other block. And just put them off to the long side edge of your mat. Good. So we'll move into our squats. So if you want to take a few bends in the knee after that chair pose, you're welcome to do so. Yeah, maybe take a sip of water. Okay. And come back. And we're going to bring our feet about a little bit wider than belly, so not super wide. We don't want the widest stance. I'll come over here so you can see better. We don't want the widest stance. We just want a little bit wider than belly. Toes will be pointing forward, and I'll show you from the side as well. So in squats, same thing with the chair pose. We want to bend our knees, knees back, butt back, heart forward, flat back, yeah? So we want our squats to be really um, sustainable. Yeah. So let's do it all together. Okay, so hips are pointing forward, toes are pointing forward, feet are a little wider than belly. We'll take a breath in to prepare and let it go. We'll inhale, sit low, knees back, butt back, flat back, heart forward. Exhale, engage your inner thighs, lifting up. Breathing in, sitting low, flat back. Breathing out, engage your glutes, come up. Inhale, sit low, knees back, butt back, heart forward. Exhale as you rise up, ground down through your feet. Just one more, inhale, sit low. Exhale to stay. Stay here. Make sure you have that flat back, knees back, butt back. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale as they come down and back. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhaling, exhaling, coming down. Good, two more, full breath in, full breath out for two. Last one, inhale, exhale for one. So nice. Hands to the hips, straighten through the legs, bend through one knee, and bend through the other. Super nice. Let's take our feet wider than belly, just a bit wider than we had them before, yeah. So you don't want to be super pulling apart of your hips and your pubic bone, right? But have some space between the, the feet. Feet forward, hips forward, same thing. We'll take a breath in to prepare. Let it go. We'll inhale, sit low, knees back, butt back, heart forward, flat back. Exhale, engage your glutes to rise. Breathing in, sitting low. Breathing out, engage your inner thighs towards one another to rest. Inhale, sit low. Exhale for three. Breathing in. Breathing out for two. Last one. Inhale. Exhale to stay. From here, inhale, the arms rise. Exhale as they come down. Full breath in, fullest breath out. Inhale, exhale, keep the integrity of the back. Last one here, full breath in, full breath out. Hands to the hips, rise up all the way. You can bend into one knee and then the other. Last set of squats. Take a sip of water if you need it. Turn your toes so they're pointing out. Yeah? Hands to hips. Your feet are still as wide as they were before. Yeah? So toes are pointing out. Take a full breath in to prepare. And a full breath out. Yeah. From here, we'll inhale as we sit low. Exhale to rise up. So every inhale, we sit low, knees are over our ankles. Exhaling as we come up. 
Breathing in to sit low. And breathing out to come up. Good. Just two more. Inhale, sit low. Exhale, engage your inner thighs towards one another. Good. Inhale, sit low. And exhale to stay. Really ground your heels down into the mat. Inhale, arms sweep up. Big circle. Exhale, sweep them down. Inhale. Exhale here. Arms go as big as your breath. Full breath in. Full breath out for three. Inhale. Exhaling for two. Last one here. Full breath in. Full breath out for one. Good. Hands to your hips. Straighten through the legs. You're welcome to bend in one knee and then bend into the other. So nice. Good. Turn the toes in so they're parallel. You can begin to toe heel, walk the heels together. So we're going to go through a few forward folds, wide-legged forward folds. Bend your knees, grab your blocks, and just place them in front of you if they weren't already. Yeah? So I'm just moving over so I have some space to show you guys. I'm going to come off my mat a little bit, but you can stay on your mat. So you're going to have your feet wide, wider than belly. Hands to your hips, breathe in. And then exhale, bend through the knees as you begin to fold one hand and then the other to your blocks, yeah? So keep a bend in your knees as you walk the blocks forward, forward, forward to your capacity. You can keep your fingertips on the blocks too. Breathing in here, reaching for the blocks through the armpits. Breathing out, sitting back through the heels and the hips. So keep that bend in the knees and lift the hips up towards the sky to really open, soften, release the pelvic floor. Another breath in, lengthen through the sides of the neck, and a breath out. Good. From here, walk the blocks over towards the right side. You can't see because of my lavender plant. Keep a bend in the right knee. Yeah, or keep a bend in the left knee. Yeah, left knee. As you straighten through the right leg. So bend your left knee here. Reach for the blocks. You should feel a stretch in the left side body here. Take a full breath in, lengthen through the neck. Full breath out, sit back through the heels and the hips. Good. Just one more breath in and a breath out. You're going to walk the blocks back through center and over towards the left side. Bend through the right knee, straighten through the left leg. So my right knee is bent over here. My left leg is straight. Reach through your fingertips. You should feel, you might feel, a stretch in the right side. Tucking the chin in slightly towards the chest, lengthen through the sides of the neck. Take a breath in and a breath out. Full breath in, lengthen. Full breath out, press back through the hips. One more deepest breath here. And a deep breath out. Straighten through both legs. Walk the blocks back through center. And then walk them back so they're underneath your shoulders here. So we're still in this wide-legged forward fold. Press through the left hand. And as you inhale, the right arm reaches up towards the sky for an open twist. Exhaling, the right arm swims down. Press through the right block. Inhale, left arm rises up, open twist. Exhale, swimming it down. Good. Just two more. Inhale, open. Exhaling, coming down. Last one. Full breath in, left arm rises. Full breath out as it swims down towards the block. Good. From here, begin to toe, heel your feet together, about belly width's distance, yeah? Bend through the knees. Take your blocks with you as you rise up. Good. Come to the top of the mat, bringing the blocks on the highest setting at the top of the mat. And you can bring the blanket at the top of the mat. Yeah, so mine will look a little different because I want to face you. So I'm going to put the blanket still in this kind of half mode here and i'm going to bring my heels on top of the blanket so my heels are on top of the blanket giving me space 
for when I come down from the last cement. My feet are wider than belly, toes are pointing out, hands can be at the heart or the hips as we start. Take a full breath in, lengthen from sacrum to crown of head. Full breath out as you begin to bend the knees and come all the way down. Yeah, come all the way down slowly. Elbows will come on the insides of the knees. And if you like, if this feels really intense, then you can place one of your blocks underneath your sitting bones. And that way, you don't have to hold yourself up but you still get that hip opening. If you're feeling any pubic synthesis pain, then simply come down onto your bottom and sit. You can do some breathing here, some deep breathing. Take a full breath in, lengthen from sacrum to crown of head. Full breath out, soften through the shoulders, soften down into the hips, perhaps even keeping a soft gaze, closing the eyes. And two more breaths in, full breath in, full breath out. And one last final breath in, final breath out. And from here, you can bring your hands down to the mat, or if you have the block, the other block, you can bring it in front of you and bring your, bring your fingertips to the block as you straighten through the legs. Bend the one knee and bend the other. Good, sweet relief. <laughs> and then bring one knee and then the other down to your mat. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and set up for one last hip opener before we come down for Shavasana for our final resting pose. So this hip opener, we're going to sit on a blanket. So I'm going to show you like this. Yeah, so I'm going to put the blanket onto the mat, bring my sitting bones, reach for the mat. Feet are out long in Dandasana, so hands are right by our hips. Feet are out long, toes are flexing towards the face. Yeah, then from here, we're going to bend through the left knee. So bend your left knee, yeah, and then bring the right ankle on top of your left knee. Bring the right ankle on top of your left knee. From here you can bring the hands by your sides. And what's great about this is you can control how deep you go. So obviously if belly is in the way too, you can walk your feet, your left foot forward. Yeah, and this is less intense for the hip or maybe it's just as intense as it needs to be. So reframing how we think about it. Toes can flex up towards the right knee. Your right toes can flex up towards your right knee, protecting the right knee. Sitting up nice and tall through the spine, lengthening. Once again, if you want it more intense, you can walk the left foot closer allowing this right hip to open gently. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine. Deep breath out, really ground down through the sitting bones, through that left foot. Inhale here, keeping an open heart space. Exhaling into the hip. Good, one more full breath in. Full breath out, releasing the space between the eyebrows. And taking three more breaths at your own pace here. And then to flex the toes back towards the right knee. When you've completed your third breath, you can simply begin to shoot, walk the left foot towards the front of the mat and bring the right foot down, bring the legs out long, just kind of open and shut the legs, flap them open for a moment, allowing any sensations to dissipate. From 
here come through stillness, finding Dandasana again. So coming on your sit bones, reaching up really nice and tall through the spine. And this time keep the right leg long. So this is a different way to get into it. Maybe you like this way better. Bend through your left knee, and then bring the left ankle on top of your right thigh. So just above the knee, not on the knee. Hands by your hips, begin to bend, lean back and bend through the right knee. And come to your capacity, right? So you know if you walk the foot towards the front of the mat, it's a little less intense for our hips. So choose your distance. Flex the left toes towards the left knee, protecting that left knee. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, opening through the heart space. Exhale, ground down through the hips, through the sitting bones. Really anchoring in here, dropping into this space. Breathing into the hips. And breathing out. Can you relax the neck, release the shoulders a bit more? Let's take one more guided breath in. Breath out the nose. Taking three more breaths at your own pace. I'd like to invite a little rock back and forth, inviting some movement into the hip space. You may do so gently. After your third breath, you may just straighten through the right leg, left leg out long, flap them open, flap them shut, allowing any sensations to dissipate. And we'll go ahead and set up for our Shavasana. So you may set up in whichever way you'd like. So if you'd like to set up with the ramp as we did before, bring one block on the highest height, the other block will come onto the lowest height. Yeah, they're meeting together in this L shape. And then place the ramp securely across, or the bolster securely across these blocks as your ramp. And you can roll up the tube of your blanket. So my blanket's like this. I'm going to roll it up. Yeah. If you don't have blocks at home, yeah, if you were using the paper towels, then please come to your left side lying with the pillow or the bolster as we did before in the beginning of class. If you're on the ramp, or if you've built the ramp, bring the low back, you say from to the edge of the bolster. If you have your tube, bring the feet together. Wrap the tube around the ankles. It's going around my ankles. And I'm pulling it through underneath my calf muscles. Yeah. If this is too much on the hips, you're welcome to just have the legs forward and long. When you're ready, begin to walk yourself down all the way gently onto your ramp. Palms can be facing up towards the sky. Heart opens. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Sigh out the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Take another one just like that. Full breath in to fill up with air. Sigh it out. <sighs> Relaxing down through the space between the eyebrows. Releasing that space, perhaps closing the eyes or keeping a soft gaze. Allowing the muscles in the cheeks to release away from the bones. Part your lips slightly. Allow the jaw to release any tension. Tongue gets heavy in the mouth. 
neck is long, sides of neck are reaching down towards the ground. Walking the shoulders perhaps a bit further down the back. Letting go of any areas of tension or tightness in the shoulders, all the way down through the fingertips of the right arm and then the left arm. Opening through the heart space, softening down through the belly. Allow the hips to get heavy. Take up as much space here, expanding outward as you need to. Soften through the right thigh, soften through the left thigh. Release through the right calf, release through the left calf all the way down to your ankles. Begin to release from the heels of your feet all the way to the toes. Allowing toes and fingers to simply be. Breathe here in your Shavasana for a few more minutes. Allowing the ground, the earth underneath you to support you. Feeling the support, the bolsters, the bolster and the blocks. As you hear the sound of your own breath. Allow the breath to be the first current of energy invited back into the body. So begin to breathe a little bit deeper. And when you feel ready, you can invite some movement into the fingers, into the toes. You can take your time as this is your practice. Bring the hands to the outsides of the thighs and close your legs like a book. Keeping a soft gaze, the eyes can be closed here still if that feels stable and safe. You can turn to one side if you're on the ramp. And slowly prop yourself up, pushing through the hands. If you're on your side, push through your hands. Remove the bolster, sit all the way up. Once again, bringing something underneath your sitting bones to end our class today. You can bring the hands at prayer at heart center, or perhaps one hand to your heart and one hand to the belly. And take a full breath in, expanding. Inside up and up, let it go. <sighs> Let's take another one just like this. Breathing in. Filling the whole body. Side up and up, let it go. <sighs> okay, bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope this class served you. If you have any questions about the class, please let me know.